Episode Dance of the Still Still Tea. What the hell is a still tea? Last time on Hats Off to Mrs. Tipsy. It was a burlesque summer's eve, Agolia Monroe, the most beautiful coal mining ballerina this land had ever known, had stopped by the local ballroom for a stretch and a piddle. Who is that? Um, sorry. What a burlesque summer's eve. After all these hours of sweating in the coal mine, a nice goatish in the ballroom would do me fine. However, when she... Hey, don't you start up again. My apologies. A little dull without words, I isn't it? I swear to Loki's ball cancer, I am going to smack you with a rake. Oh, go ahead and try, a Agolia Monroe 45 Tofuti Row. Hey there, sugar cakes. Who is that? Stim, your main squeeze machine. And what's all this business with not knowing the owner of your love stick? I guess I was just scared. Scared of what, Jellybutt? I just thought I saw someone outside while I was dancing. They'd be outside if you are dancing. Oh, wait, some 13-foot tall dude with a top hat? Feeding all its psychopathy has given my appendage a Native American twist, resulting in my selling of the enraptured tuxies. What? I had to sell the ballroom. But what does that have to do with the really tall man I saw? That would be Sir Grafton Pinchy Square. At your cervix. At my what? Sir Grafton Pinchley Square. At your cervix. I purchased some ad space on the town bus, and I want to make sure they got my mustache right. It is a marvelous mustache. Don't let it frighten you. Oh, he must have been quite tall. I'm a tall man. I can stare down a ladder, make it cower away like a frightened puppy. Yes, here I might be called a pituitous freak, but there once was a land, a land of dancing stilties. Stilties? Yes, another of your local slurs for people of my race. My people come from a land many dreams away from this one. We founded the Pixie Fire Brigade, provided a mobile grooming shop for the shape changer, and most importantly, we entertained all with our quivering fruit dance. No one had cause to dislike me or my people until Filatio, the ice cream man, destroyed it all. Is that the ice cream man? You got any bubblegum toast, man? I got some bubblegum soup. Soup? Let me grab you a ball. My manager won't fund the repairs needed for his own equipment. My truck needs servicing, but does he pay attention? Nah. He just called me up at 6 in the morning of a 110 degree day and berates me for not doing my job. Filatio was a little upset, so he started to take out his anger on all the neighborhood children. Ha ha ha! Kid, take this, huh? Man, you take this! Ha ha! Oh, you take this, man! Huh? Oh, yeah! Yeah, you take this! I was sleeping on the pitcher's mound of the Krugak baseball diamond when I awoke to the sounds of warfare, the chaotic den of terror surrounding me. And I stood to see all the children of my homeland creating a deluge of tears. Fila, grinning with his head out the window of his speedy truck, lifted high a melting cone of pistachio. As a medka snooty ran for his life, his heels mere inches from the ice cream truck's grimacing bumper, and raced through the sea of tears and grabbed up the little boy. Old ass, old wrinkly ass. I'm not your enemies, ice cream man. We ice are but... cream man, is that all I am to you? A delivery of frozen goods? I'm Fila Tio. And I'll burn you with eye lasers. Ah, ah, you old ass. What a shining example for benevolence. Using the very child whose life you once saved as a shield. Ah, ha, ha, ha. No! No! I... But no! I knew at that moment I had to leave. There was no way I could face my people again. Not after what I had done. What a fool I was for thinking I could be a hero. Oh, Grafton. That's awful. Oh, shoot. I have to go. 
I'm sorry. I'll talk to you again. Yes. Of course. I, I, I understand. Slopping her tangy homemade chili on a big fat Holland tunnel. Hey, sugar bottom. Sugar bottom. You remember Shrinky Dinks? That's for Tammy Twat? Where is she? Hey, girl thing. Stimmy. Hey, where you been, Mom Confectionery Day Vulva? I was at the place where you just left me. The ballroom. Oh, yeah. Go fix some biscuits. I swear to God, you better. Okay. Do we have any biscuit fix? Man, you should have seen this dude I ran into when I was going to get some snacky meats. I swear to God, he was like 200 feet tall, and I was like, damn, Stilty. He was all, no, Mama Mita, don't use the mix. What do you want me to make them switch in? You want me to go out and pick your biscuit off a tree? Out of a cow's ass? No. Chill what down. do you want from Tasty me? Tasty rubbins. I just want a biscuit. Stim! What do you want from me? My eyes are open. Stim! And I see all the lies that you ever hurled at me. Laugh. Ha! Ha! How does that sound, Stim? Are you hungry, Stim? Eat my laughter! Eat my laughter! Get the damn biscuits, man. Hey, and don't get any of those ass biscuits. Get the ones from the tree. Then she raises herself, who has not moved in ten days. You had to leave down, trying to press her back. Maul, she says, Maul. She is looking out the window. A cash stupid steadily at the board in the stadium. Color upon my dead tree slam. Why? Ghost, why do you torment me? Is it just my irrational phobia of the unknown that bars me from eternal bliss? Me? Why, why, why I would not open the door for, for me? All those years of unacceptance, hating myself, flushing my face down the drain of disgust, morn after morn, now in these late days with crevices in my countenance, I wonder, is it time to open the door for me? Ronaldo! You're not me. Can I stay here tonight, Smivara? Does Elvis sleep with a biscuit and ballyhoo? Please, don't bring up biscuits right now. And why do you carry your body past my threshold when you know tonight is for... Folks, yeah. We had a fight. With? Fuck, yeah. No, with Stim, my boyfriend. Oh, the boniest midnights I'd spin with a broken heart. Shelser, you bastard. How did you ever think you could hide your iambic secrets from your only real lover? The only one who invaluably comprehended the... Right. I'll just sleep on your DDR mat if that's all right. You can get back to your date. You possess ounces of kindness for such a poor woman. The long legged beasts have come to slip the foundations from under my tap shoes. My love, how it does fit upon the shelf. Oh, whoa. Oh, whoa. Good night, Smivara. Why does he get to sleep in the bed? Oh, you're a stupid little chicken, Agolia. A stupid little chicken. Agolia. Grafton, what are you doing out there? I never left. I thought I disgusted you with my story. No, no, I had to go because my my boyfriend. But if you have a boyfriend, Miss Agolia, why are you sleeping on a DDR mat in a vacant ballroom? He, he, he wanted a biscuit. There, there, just lean your head through the open window. I gotcha. That's a girl. Why, why could I not find a man as kind as you? I believe you just did. It really is a stunning mustache. Step on that 
that electric meter so I can kiss you deeper. hasn't always been the best cure for typhoid. Scientists believe boobs and toast. We got them funky boobs and toast. Mm, Hungry for toast. some hot steamy breakfast? <laughs> Oops, I spilled some syrup. Boobs and toast. Jiggly wiggly boobs and toast. Have a juicy sausage while our expertly trained servers <laughs> service you. Boobs and toast and butter melts on boobs and toast. Man, I'm getting me some pancakes. I swear to God. Oh, man, maybe a cherry pie. Yeah, all the moly. No, man, who are you? No, please. Hey, I have a brain freeze, Stimmy oh, boy. Man, it burns. Ironic. No. <laughs> Meanwhile, at the ballroom. Did you hear that? I can hear nothing but the gentle current of your warm breasts as it licks at my dangling lobe. Did you say breath? Oh. Mm. Oh, Crafton, you have such a way with words. Mm. What time is it? Are you sure you don't want to come inside? You can't be comfortable out there. I hadn't noticed. I'd been enraptured by your fluttering skin. I don't know how I was so stupid to be with someone like Stim. I'm so glad I found you. And I'm so glad I bought half of your city. Bless all the events that led me to you, sweet Agolia. Even the child getting fried alive by lasers. You can't make pudding without a dash of pepper. Oh, Grafton. Take me away from this bleak existence. I want to know your land of geometry dreams or whatever you said it was. Will you take me there? No, Agolia. I'm not sure what my family will think. You see, I sort of ran away from it all. I keep doing that. I get in a cataclysmic fight to the death, and then I screw up and run away from it all, only to fall in love. Then you should go back, and I'll be there, Graffy. I'll be with you every step of the way. And probably twice that. Ah, yes. I do have long legs. And a luxuriously sexy mustache. Sit cream on a wedding cake. I have to get to work. Work? You mean you have to dance again? Dance? 
Yes, right. Ooh, ha! I have to get back to the coal mine and hack at a black wall. Oh, I thought you were going to run away with me. Just one more day, Graffy. I gotta give them notice. I'll wait for you here, then? Yes. Oh, but Grafton. Yes, Twinkle Dumpling. I left my stuff over at Stim's place. Can you grab it for me? Of course I will, Snarkle Poppy. You're a doll. A really tall doll. <laughs> oh, I can call you a tall doll now. No. As Twinkle Dumpling set back off for one last day at the coal mine, Sir Grafton Pinchley Squire at your cervix magically found his way straight to Stim's apartment. Hello, is anyone there? Stim? Stimmy? Come open the window, Stimmy. Hmm. Hope these windows are... <sighs> oh, there. Now to just crawl through here and... Ow! Oh, damn television! Uh, hello? I say, are you there, Stimmy, my boy? Nothing. Must be out. I'll just slither through this living room here and... Stim? Stim! Is that you? Hmm. It's nice to meet you, Stim. My, this is a strange land. I never would have thought a Golia would go for the headless type. Stim, my name is Grafton. I am seizing a Golia and sweeping her away. Nothing to say, then? Very well. I hope you don't mind if I help myself to something cold to drink. It isn't easy pulling yourself through a window, you know. Ah. Apple fry fries. That would do lovely, I expect. Have any ice, Mr. Stim? No? I'll just check. Oh, there's your head, Stim! Do you have to keep it in the freezer? Very convenient if a Golia is tired of talking to you, but, well, you don't say much anyway, do you? It's remarkable, actually, but it looks as though your head is a prominent ingredient in a banana split. Only I suppose it would be a Stimmy split. <laughs> Yes, anyway. I'll just grab this bag that holds all of Agolia's possessions and be on my way. Dandy meeting you, Stim. I... Hang on a minute! Heavens and merciful cantaloupes! No! I've seen frozen creamy terrors like this only once before, as it was being hurled at an infant on Barnaby Row! Ah! This is the work of... Hey, yo, that's right, you old, old thingy. Fila Tio! Where did you come from? Uh, I came in through the window, you male person. Yes, I should have known those were your legs I crawled over. What have you done to stim, you ungrateful perverter? Yeah, he's only the first in my new line of frozen goods. Ice human, bean, cream, parlor. That's not very catchy. Wait till you try the toddler sundae. Ah, uh, with psycho fudge. What psycho fudge? Yeah, it's the stuff they use in psycho for the blood, huh? Well, wasn't that just chocolate syrup? Yeah, but it's blood eye from Psycho. You're flipping gone, man. Hey, you well, say that when you see my mega super ice cream human beam place. Ah, I will make sure my freezers always work properly and never shall again my cream of ice make soup. And how will you achieve such a thing? Yeah, I've uh, discovered a coal mine on the south edge of town. It'll be my foundation and once I conquer it, I'll have all the power of the world. Coal mine? Agolia! No, Filatio! I'm afraid this world will not give you power so that you can have... Power! Fight! <laughs> Take care! Oh, yeah! Yeah! Hey, uh, sleep there with your precious stem, old man. I shall now fulfill my ice cream conquest. To the coal mines! This is my last day in this dirty old coal mine. 
Hey, Gullia, since it's your last day, I want one of our rookies to shatter you. He's already been here a month, but he's been mostly helping Tato and human resources. I want him to try his hand at the real stuff. Fine. Just don't get in my way while I'm swinging. You'll be all right here, then? You have no idea. Right, Gullia, it was nice working with you. Be sure to say goodbye before you go, okay? All right, boss. Ha! Got to get this wall done before the end of the day. Ha! See how I'm working on the corners first. I see everything you do just fine. Meanwhile, I will take a break and have a piece of toffee. Yum. A break? Hey, wait a second. You sound familiar. Have we met before? Yes, we met on my first day. You shook my hand, even through the shock-resistant canvas gloves. I felt a spark that would ignite a lifelong flame. Agolia! Oh, that creep from the ballroom! Now, now, fair Agolia Monroe. Embrace our given fate and polish this black briquette that is my heart until it shines iridescent like the diamond it longs to become. Embrace this given fate! No! Ah! <sighs> Yeah, hey, uh, such a beautiful sight, huh? The establishment of my dreams will soon be born to truth, and all the world shall bow to my dairyific legacy. No, Fila. I thought I killed you. You hit me in the head with a typewriter. Yeah, I don't understand. It worked for Bjork and James Khan. But not for you. This coal mine will be your grave. Ice Cream Man! Hey, uh, don't call me Ice Cream Man. Yeah, fight! Understand, Agolia. I love you. I want to. Ow! I have a man who loves me. A man who. Oh, a man who. He could stump you with one step. I just want you to give me, Erg, a chance. I'll give you a chance. A chance to die, you sleazy stalker. Ack, no, Agolia. Put me down. Hey, uh, put me down! Put me down! I'll put you down, way down! And then I'll go grab some frozen custard to celebrate your demise! Yeah, yeah custard- uh. ah! ah! Oh, please, look at the canary. Everybody get out, it's gonna fall! Hey, what's going on out here? Did you throw that giant ice cream man in my mind? I... I... You could have killed us all! But... I... I go, yeah! Hey, hey, come back here! Stop running on my worker! Some... Ah, oh, God! Hey, everyone get in line! I don't... I don't know, care if your leg's broken, Gobber! I need you to account for everybody! One... Two, Fifteen... Thirty... We're too short! Who's missing? Goalie and that creepy new guy with the buttery voice box. For shame. All right, looks like you've got the rest of the day off, but be back here bright and early in the morning. <laughs> what have I done? I've done it again. Oh, why? Why am I such a fool? <laughs> oh, oh, hello. Has anyone ever told you that your mustache looks like Ralph Waldo Emerson? No, why? Why, no, actually. Robin McPhee played Agolia Monroe. Jeff Atkins performed the role as Sir Grafton Pinchless Square at your cervix. Paul Serfook portrayed Smivara. 
that senor molesto vocally embodied stem and feel a T.O. Jenny Domkowski narrator. Hats off to Mrs. Tipsy. And so the beautiful Agolia Monroe met her end on an evening of burlesquitude. Is burlesquitude a word? Shut up, you're dead. Oh, then I guess that means I get to haunt you. Oh, can't catch me now. See how you like it, punk? No, get away from me. You're nothing without your voluptuous breasts. Yes, I saw what you did after that rock fell on me. Deviant. It was my only chance. It's not my fault you decided to leave your body unguarded. Now shoo, get. Oh, I bet I could live in your ear. How's that? Like me in there? Ah! Oh, oh, God! Ah! Oh, oh, what, what are you something. doing? Ah! What? Hey! Ah! Get out! I can't talk with you and me like that. Ah! What the? Ah! God! Quit singing! That's terrible! I don't want you anymore! Go! Ah! You have two bananas. Oh, don't sit there. You're gonna eat. I want some cat food. It's messy. I've got a pot holder. You've got a booger hanging out your nose. It's all yours. I was just joking. I was just figuring you wanted your usual. We have to redo that. <laughs> <laughs> Romans are nature's super fruit. <laughs> they is. They is not. Y'all should visit hats off to MrTipsy.com. There's a MySpace page too. And a YouTube account where you can watch videos of the actors messing up their lines. I eat food. There's also some promos and fun stuff. I was sitting down. Hang on, I gotta turn the page. <laughs> I'm gonna chip off. I need a napkin. Hold on. I can't touch the keyboard because I got a banana on my hands. Alright.